Yo, what's going on with your YouTube? Y'all man Chris here. We come back at y'all with another vid. So we got some early, early, and I feel like finally we're getting some pretty good heat. I mean, finally, you know, it's been a good minute since we got some good heat coming out, at least for the GR side, definitely. I mean, for the past few weeks, I feel like we haven't got anything. I mean, everything's been getting pushed back. I thought we we're gonna get the ones this week. Looks like those got pushed back to next week. Hopefully, these don't get pushed back. Still set to release to, at the end of the month. And I think a lot of people are going to be excited for it, even if they go for retail or not. But before we do, we got a large packaging. Shouts to the one official, underscore the, the number one N-E official. So make sure you guys check them out. Remember, they're the one that had, we did a whole video with the automatic doors, which is actually pretty dope. Wifey took over, so need to get some more of those. And I'll, don't forget, guys, I have a discount code JMK20, so save you guys some money. And this time, they got some new products that they sent over, and they want to show you guys whole one-piece display box. It could go up to about... Looks like uh, maybe like 12 or six or something. Come already individual packed. All right, so we are gonna have to build some stuff. Okay, this is pretty cool. So you don't really have to do much. You just kind of open it up just like this. And then you lock it on the sides here, just like that. Then it has like the side doors like this. You just kind of place them in here. Look at that, look at that. Maybe I should have read the instructions, but uh, I mean, it's pretty easy kind of just latch it on here. Comes with a set of the doors wide open, just like this. It looks pretty easy. A uh, little plastic clear casing on the doors and very easy. Just kind of put it on here, just like on here, just like in the latches. Oh, look at that. And it's magnetized too, so that's pretty cool. But there it is. You just, then you gotta get these little pieces to go to the corners like this. Boom. Look, I put the wheels, now it rolls around, which is pretty cool. And also, check this out, it also lights up. Bam. Just like this. And you can do it to different settings to where it's constantly on, or just kind of like play on whenever you open the case up, like this. So look at that, see? You got some wheels on it, and also you can light on and off, just like this. And you put in different settings to where it's like motion, see? Just open up just when you turn off. Way the casing, because it's always on the side, just like this. Ooh, oh yeah, these, this is fire, man. <laughs> Shouts to the good people over at The One Official. Here it is, their card, the little QR code. Hopefully that shows up so you guys can scan that right there. Follow them on their IG and all that good stuff. And don't forget to use my discount code, JMK20. Figure out what to do with this case here. Not exactly sure, I just, you know, starting to run out of room in here, which is, Hey, first world problems, right? But anyways, man, it was super easy to set up. You guys saw it. Maybe it took me about a couple minutes, really. Not that long, but really dope, man. So appreciate that. All right, man. So again, we got some early, early we need to open up, man. And we need to talk about, hey, shouts to the good people over at. I need to give a big shout to my big homie, man. Uh, top underscore shelf underscore gear. Hey, man, he gets the early, early. He has, uh, you know, he has all the heat and stuff. So I appreciate it. Make sure you guys follow him. On his IG, he always got all the heat, man. So anyways, hey, I haven't linked up with them in a long time. So hopefully one day, maybe when I come back to North Carolina or something, hope to see you there, homie. Anyway, let's open these up, man. Got some early, early heat, and All right, all right. So what we have here, looks like we do have a whole concrete looking box just like this, but man. It has a little Jordan outline you guys can see right here. The flight is basically the same as like, you know, every Air Jordan 4. But I'm loving that Michael Jordan's starting to put like some theme to the boxes now. This is actually pretty dope. It does look like a whole concrete box, not gonna lie. Anyways, man, let's open these things up, man. Like, all right, here we go. And voila. Voila. Wow. La 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 la. Here it is. Here it is. Woo! All right, man. So we got an early look, early pair of the Air Jordan 4 Paris. Man, oh man. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. 
These are looking kind of fresh. I'm not going to lie. I'm not just trying to say that and try to be a big hype beast about them. But they're not bad. These are looking pretty clean, you know. Out of all the Jordan 4s that came out this year, that was non-OG colorway. That's not including the bread 4s and the military blues, all right? So let's calm down. But I'm just saying as a non-OG colorway, this might be the best one to come out. Like the materials, the new buck. The only complaint is maybe the, there is no rubber knitting on the side instead of have these preparations right here. But it have this whole concrete theme to it. I mean, these are pretty close to like, if I were to compare them, kind of like the taupe haze. Or I know a lot of people are going to compare these to. Everybody going to say like these are the poor man calls for, right? Because those things are going for bazillions of dollars. And they're basically almost the same color. But again, hey. You know, I, I I haven't found a good price on the calls for us. I'm not paying no three five thousand dollars on some freaking shoes. That's insane. But this look though is actually pretty freaking nice. Like uh, these are definitely a go. These are definitely going to be a cop for me. Look, I got the whole concrete theme. Got the preparation of the Jordan right there. The prep the concrete look on the jump man. These are nice. These are pretty clean, man. Hey, shout out to my guy, top underscore shelf gear. Thank you, bro. Hey, these are definitely a go. I think these are a must cop. I'm not sure. You know, they might be going under retail or something. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, it depends. I don't, I don't think they're going to do as bad like the oxidized green. Like, they're just going to keep on sitting forever and going under retail. Matter of fact, they might go under retail because of the way how things are. But I think these things will probably end up selling out. They're probably not going to go for that much on the resale market. They're probably going to be like about what retail is. But hey, we're not talking about resale. If you guys like the shoe, then cop the shoe for yourself. Put them on feet, man. These are going to look great on feet. With the whole Summer Olympics going on, um, so they, I guess that's why they want to push these out. I wouldn't think they're going to try to delay these even more. Just because, you know, Summer Olympics, when's it ending? Pretty soon, I would think, right? It doesn't last forever. It's only the summer. So it's probably going to end pretty soon. So... Um, I would think that Nike's gonna try to push these out because I know a lot of other shoes have been getting pushed back a little bit lately. Uh, I wouldn't think these would get pushed back. At least I would hope not, especially if they're going with that whole, you know, Olympics theme with it. But yeah, man, these are a go. These are definitely a cop for me. These are set to release, I think, the end of July. So you guys let me know what you guys feel about these. I like the materials, man. The materials are actually pretty nice. Uh, the only thing is like right here it has like that cracked leather. Some people love the cracked leather. I'm glad they brought it back a little bit. Craftsmanship, ooh, little bit of glue stainsies, you know, with every Air Jordan 4, there's always some type of something, man. You know, Jordan just never gets it right, I swear. But anyway, guys, you guys comment down below. Are these a must cop or not? Or are you just kind of like, eh, what else on these? Me, I think it's a cop day one. You know, uh, if I can get a pair, cool. If they just get go for at retail, I'm good with that. If they go under retail, then obviously I'll go and return and then buy it for a lower price. Anyway, guys, hey, thank you guys so, so much. Just want to say, hey, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at Drummer Chris and IG, sometimes on Twitter. And don't forget Snapchat. I'm also TikTok. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jumpin' Chris. Peace.